Yeah, we're, we're excited to uh, try to try to do a little for the community uh, in, in the first annual sock toss. Uh, we're always looking for something unique to do and some way to give back. So uh, bring your socks. Uh, you'll get a chance to chuck them on the mat, and then uh, it'll be a neat little event, and we can sweep them off and donate them to, uh, uh, to some needy people in, in, in the community. Um, a little bit about this weekend. We did go down to a tournament, and um, it's in our sport, it's a little different. You know, our ultimate goal is a national tournament, and uh, we wrestled dual meets all year. So to sprinkle in a tournament this time of year was good for our guys to get in that, uh, to learn how to wrestle back-to-back -back matches. And uh, we did have five champions, um, really led by Tristan Moran, who upset the number five guy in the country in the finals. Uh, we were without two starters, uh, 149 Cole Martin and 184 Johnny Sebastian. 149 was a planned. Uh, week off for Cole and a 184. We've got Johnny, who's a sixth-year senior, that we've told multiple times that he's he is on a pitch count. It was a planned weekend for him, and uh, we're excited to get those guys back uh, for our duel against Kent State uh, the following Thursday. Melissa, sorry, going back to the sock thing. Is there any particular reason why it's socks? Well, you've seen people donate coats. You've seen people donate hats. You know, how about socks? You know, um, I think that uh, it'll be a big hit. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's, you know, relatively inexpensive that people can donate versus, you know, going to get a coat or, or something like that. So uh, there's a need for it, believe it or not, and um, it'll, be, it'll be a neat little event. Ryan? Chris, uh, your first year last year, fans started coming out and buying into what you are doing with the program. I'm, hope, I'm guessing you're hoping that even more and more give this uh, program a try. Yeah, we're uh, we're doing great. Season ticket sales are uh, way ahead. You know, we've um I don't know the exact number, but I know we've been getting updates every other week and they're way ahead of what we did last year. We've actually sold way more than we sold last year. You know, our mat side seats uh, again, first day they were sold out in 30 minutes uh, with renewals and all that stuff and uh, you know, this is a this is a team that's going to be fun to watch. You know, they're um they like to score a lot of points and um you know, we've been on the road a long time and we're kind of uh, excited to maybe hear, you know, when we get a takedown, somebody cheer instead of it being silent in some arenas. So we're, we're excited to get back there. We can't wait. Our guys are fired up, and uh, uh, we just wish it was this week. What, what can your individuals learn from what happened in Iowa City a couple of weeks ago? And have they already learned and maybe applied it this past weekend? Yeah, that's um, – I was very, very interested to see how they were going to respond, and um, they did a great job. You know, our, our emphasis this week was making sure you go out and get that first takedown. Our emphasis was um, making sure that you, uh, you wrestled the full seven minutes, you know, and, and really to start a lot earlier. You know, these guys got, you know, one one matches at Iowa, and they didn't really start trying to go get an attack uh, until, until 30 seconds left in periods. Uh, and, and it takes a while against a good guy to score. So we did a great job of starting earlier, finishing matches, and wrestling the whole seven minutes. Uh, Tristan Moran, again, in the finals, was losing – um, you know, with a minute left in the match, and he went and got his attack to win that match, and uh, that's that's very encouraging. And the guys learned a huge lesson. We learned a big lesson at Iowa, um, and like I, I keep saying, it can't come at a better time. Um, if it usually if it comes in February, you know these guys tend to put their heads down, knowing they, that the national tournaments in a month, and um, they don't know if it can get that much better by March. They know it came in December, and um, they're already getting better from it. So. What can you say about Eric Barnett's first appearance as a Badger, as a true freshman, and winning a championship at the Cougar Clash? Yeah, it's it's very good. It's I knew this year would be hard to keep Eric out of the lineup. Um, what when Mikey decided to go down to one one twenty five? Um, it's been a big cut for Mikey, and we 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 let Mikey go out there, and he was doing a great job. Um, a little injury to Mikey, and really kind of a big injury, um, really forced our hand to put Barnett in the lineup. And a little sooner than I'd like, but, um, you know, Eric was the number one recruit in the country out of Hortonville, and uh, he went out there. We pulled him out his first uh, competition with that W on his chest. He wins the tournament. Uh, and I think the fans uh, in Wisconsin know Eric, and the fans around the country are about to get to know him. Very, very excited wrestler. Uh, great kid. Loved the, loved the little guy to death. And, um, you know, I'm excited he's on our team. When we got here, he was committed to uh, University of North Carolina. And uh, it was a big bummer. You know, he's right up the road in Hortonville. We went and got him, and he, we, we were able to flip him. Uh, and I'm really happy we did. Not, not just his wrestling talents, but him being in the room, him being around us. He's a, he's a quirky little guy, and we, uh, I absolutely love him. And uh, fired up to, to see him compete and see how far he can go. What did you like out of his performance on Saturday? Well, he's a competitor, you know, and that's what's uh, – and he's a winner. He's won his whole life at every level. 
uh, and that's all he knows. So uh, I'm excited about his hustle. Uh, his effort was unbelievable, and uh, we just got to get be uh, better in a few areas, and uh, this kid's going to be a force at the national level. Um, for this first home match that you guys have coming up, um, how are the guys feeling about it? I mean, I know it's the first of the season. It's always that kind of anticipation. And also, you know, for fans that have kind of, they've seen you around, like, you know, this past year, like, what is your kind of, like, sales pitch to be like, hey, come out and see our guys, and this is why, and this is why it's going to be awesome, this is why it's going to be great. Well, our sales pitch is, is, is a couple of different things. First of all, we have a returning national champion on our team. Um, we have three guys ranked in the top five in, uh, uh, in the country, and then our team is a top five team in the country. Uh, that alone um, is not very easy to do year in and year out. Um, the second thing is, is about we probably wrestled uh, the toughest teams. The toughest teams in the country uh, are going to be in the field house. We have no, you know, uh, Penn State, the, the national champions uh, the last eight years are going to be in there. Ohio State, ranked number three in the country, uh, are going to be in there. Michigan, Michigan State, we have a very, very good home schedule. And, um, and again, these guys are exciting wrestlers. And the last thing is, is our, our marketing and our staff and something we like to do is we like to create a crazy little atmosphere in there. I mean, we're going to be throwing socks out the first match. You know, if that doesn't get people out there, I don't, I don't know what will, right? 